Hello everyone, this is Paul, and here are my first two successful attempts at trying to recreate the Wallace Ranch hybrid. As you can see here, Julio Robles at Wallace Ranch used Sugar Dragon and Vietnamese White to create a new hybrid, and they've been growing it for several years. Now you can see we also got to taste the fruit, and it was very unique. Sweet, reminded me of a lot of Sugar Dragon, but definitely different, slightly different texture, and very exciting. They even were willing to sell a few cuttings this season. So I'm interested to see what becomes of that unique plant. Now you can see here, I think this one on the left is a more successful union. It's nice and straight and it's more two-sided. So I'm gonna show you how I did this and we'll try to recreate it tonight. Versus this one, which is a four-sided and you can see there's two rows here fused together. I use 6S and Natural Mystic. So definitely a nice solid union. You can see here that I also did this really small one. And it's definitely a unique craft. This is G2 and Jade Red, but I, it's got this gap in here. Let's see if you could see it. See it right here? So it's not the best union, but it is really close together. It's, it's really fused together from here to here. So we'll see what becomes of this. I'm gonna tip it and plant it and we'll see what happens. All right, let me show you how I did this. Okay, so I've asked Julio several questions and here's what I know. He used younger growth, the same season branches, and they were around a foot long, or at least he cut them back a foot. So these are curved, which is not ideal, but if you see, this curvature is very similar. So this is gonna be the goal. So what, in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them back to about a foot just to make it simple. As you can see here, it's a very young growth. I could graph that if I want. I'm gonna try to match the length here. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna wanna cut them and kind of do something like this. Now also, I want to cut them in such a way to where I definitely want two or three sides, not four. So you have to be really careful about how you cut it. And let's see how I'm gonna cut this one. Let me think. So in this case, I think I'm gonna cut and keep two sides of this. So right down the center, This is a lot harder to do than you think. Again, younger growth is key. You don't want a core that's very developed. And right down all the way. There. So there we go, that looks pretty good. Now everything's been sterilized. And I don't really want to touch any of that. So now I need to make sure. How I get it to be at the same angle without messing it up. It's be like that. Okay. And I think for this one, I'm just gonna do a nice thick one branch. It's right where I want to be, okay. Again, this is a lot harder than you think. But it is sort of like splitting a log. And you can kind of just stay in that core. I was 
honestly preferring to have more of the core on this, which I did not get. And so this is going to be four-sided, which I don't really want. But that's okay. This will just be, I'm going to have to dispose of the other pieces. I think it's worth it to get it. That's exactly what I want. See that? In my humble opinion, this is kind of how you want it. So now, if I did it right, I should be able to bind these up pretty well. And that's the most important part. It almost works to have an extra hand to do this, honestly. But that is something I don't have. Now this will definitely be something unique if it works because these flowers couldn't be any more different. So I'll know right away if it was successful or not once it flowers. And obviously if the growth looks unique. And that's what Julio said to look for. So now I'm gonna just get this all matched up as best as I can because you really want a good union. I was used no shame in using a lot of tape. There. And that's basically the graft. That's what I did. Now you can see I did three sides and I cut it from the tip down to the stem. So this could be a, just, the Wallace Ranch Craft could just be a once in a very, a blue moon event. But hopefully more dragon fruit enthusiasts can try this and see if they can get something unique, just like Julio did at Wallace Ranch. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for your time. Have a wonderful day. Take care.